Hi everybody, just wanted to give you a little glimpse of our new condo in Florida. Uh, this is standing in front of our unit and I'm looking down to uh, the gate where you come in. You can see the flags. Yesterday was the 4th and it's been raining so much down here that they had to cancel our festivities yesterday and last night. But I'm standing, it stopped raining for a few minutes so I thought I would come out and do some filming. Uh, this is just uh, standing right in front of our unit, and the, this is the, these are the units across the little street from us. And you go down, and then I'm going to walk out into the street and pan on around. Let's see if we can do this. and come on down and then this unit right here on the ground floor or first floor is our unit. It's three bedrooms, two and a half baths. This, um, this little complex has uh, these condominiums on both sides of this main little road and then on the there's an alley behind the units and then over to our left or behind us are six single family homes. And then across the street from their alley are townhomes. And uh, the townhomes and the uh, single family homes are large and they have um, garages with carriage houses over the garages. So let's go into our unit. Sorry that it's bouncing around a little bit. This is the door that goes in onto our front porch and there's nothing. Well, I'll show it to you. I can get down here and if I can get it open. <laughs> there you go. So this is coming uh, into our front door or into the little entry level, entry area. This is our, our front door. And you come around to our neighbor and then these steps go up. I'll walk on so that you can see this. And it's three levels. And there's an elevator in the back of the building. So for those people who live on the second and third levels, they can use the elevator. And there are storage rooms on the roof of this building. So we have a storage room up there. We have to take the elevator to get it. Uh, the, as I said, these, this building is three bedrooms, two baths. So the first two levels are that very same floor plan, four of those, two on each side. And then the upper, the third floor actually has the same floor plan, except there is a loft in those. So let's go in and I apologize because this is sort of bare bones. You can, no artwork. There's Bagel. Come on Bagel. She's getting used to, trying to get used to it. She's used to being in the country and not, um, not having to worry about barking but she is learning that she can't bark here. So this is the living room. And again, our, we ordered our rug today for this area. And as I said, we have no artwork up yet. I'll come around this way and you can see the TV. And we were shopping for furniture the other day and my husband has this thing for little unique pieces of furniture and he came across this little chair, and of course he couldn't live without it, so uh, the plant won't stay there. That's a little shelf that's upside down. It's real heavy, but I'm thinking it's gonna go on that wall with, with the uh, silk ivy, so. But anyway, this is the dining room. And if you can see this, uh, this is, I ordered this off of Etsy, and this is our initials, 
our monogram, and it's going to go on the wall behind this chair. I'm going to paint it and attach it to a canvas that I'll paint, uh, a much larger canvas, and it'll go on that wall. So I'm going to scan around here and show you. Sorry about the sun. We have the single French door there and then the double French doors here. We hung drapes yesterday and uh, we had to order these from pennies. We didn't want to go to the expense of uh, having to have them custom made. Uh, we had to have a 108 inch length, so had to be ordered. Can't seem to find that length in the stores, but we're, we only had planned on one uh, uh, drapery on that little French door, but we're going to have to, we've ordered another one. And then this is our bedroom. And we have not put the curtain rods up in here. We had to have some privacy, so it's sort of messy in here. I apologize for this. I'm not going to go into the bathroom because it is very messy. So this is the uh, kitchen area, and I tell you, everything, if it could happen since we got down here, it has happened. Everything has gone wrong. Uh, looking at the kitchen, I will tell you that the Viking range does not work. This it was a new unit, had never been lived in, but the regulator is gone on it, and they had to order it, and it's going to be another week before my husband can cook on it. So, and if you just look through that little door right there, that's our uh, laundry room, and that's where the back door is that goes to the elevator and then additional parking back there. And we bought a washer and dryer, and we were told it has to be side vented. We were told by the people we bought it from that it could be done, no problem. Uh, their people could do it. The day it was supposed to be delivered, guess what? They called. They can't do it. Evidently, in the state of Florida, it takes someone with a special certification to um, do a side vent, and we can't find anybody who'll do it. So that's another one of our little fun issues. Okay, this is the, the smaller of the two extra bedrooms. And as I said, we've had to purchase every single piece of furniture except for uh, a bed that you'll see next. But that little lamp is not going to stay there. I just haven't found one that actually it's going to go in our bedroom. I just haven't found one that I like. And this little bedspread or comforter and pillow shams are uh, seersucker, blue and white seersucker. They are so cute. I don't know how it's going to show up. And I put green sheets with it. And you can see my husband wanted to save the box from his TV until we knew we weren't going to have any problems with it. Not having problems with the TV, but Comcast can't seem to get it right. So we have no TV right now. This little bench I brought from my condo that we still own. Again, no artwork. Oh, a little French door going out onto a Juliet balcony there. And then let's see if we can focus. This is the little Jack and Jill bath. So, and then we just the shower, and you can see I've really done nothing but put down a little rug down there. And then coming into the other bedroom, uh, this was my bed at the condo, and again, uh, I had this comforter, but uh, I've had it forever, have no idea where the shams are, so I've got to find something that will go with it or get a new comforter for in here. And and that's the only, th that bed and that chest are the only things uh, that we brought down here other than just a few little kitchen things. And then we have, there's a double door uh, French doors with another little Juliet balcony here and the window over there. So, and then you just come on through to, that's a, a nice size linen closet and through the hallway 
oops, sorry about that. And the light, uh, the light's not on, but this is the half bath. And then coming through into the dining room. We're going to have a backsplash put behind the stove on that wall. So, but this island is really neat. Um, when you come around it, it has the, the wine uh, cooler and the ice machine. And then this is, you know, just trash. Who shows you their trash and then the dishwasher and the double sink here and then the bar sink there and I have to tell you this is so funny uh, filtered water here and then the for the dishwashing detergent so I decided to fill the dishwashing detergent container up and pulled the top out and started loading pouring in the liquid and I poured for a while and my husband said, are you sure that's going in the container? And I opened the cabinet underneath and the shelf under this cabinet was full of Dawn dishwashing detergent. Can you believe that? The bottle was not there, the container. So that was a lovely mess to clean up. Sub-Zero refrigerator. I had this little plaque over my stove in the condo, and it, we're going to hang that on that wall until we get the backsplash. So, that is it. My husband hung that chandelier uh, over the dining room table. That There was no chandelier, so... We purchased that, and he hung that, and he did the curtain rods. So, and these little chairs, I've never been a recliner person, but these little chairs are actually those little pushback recliners. So, we have no knickknacks. We have nothing to set around, just strictly the basics right now so we'll be here almost two more weeks and hopefully in the two weeks ooh. so that's pretty much it guys uh, I turned the lights off because there was such a glare there's bagel she sits in front of that French door she got a new bed but she will not lay in the bed uh, my husband's gonna put one of his old t-shirts hopefully in it and that she'll Maybe she'll decide she wants to lay in it. She'll sit there and look out that door. But she will not, absolutely will not get in it. I've tried to lure her in it with treats, but they don't work. So maybe one day she'll get the hint. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little tour. Um, well, that pillow's upside down. That's pretty cute. Let's see if we can get that looking a little bit better. Uh, I'll show it to you again when we get some uh, art, some stuff on the walls, and some things sitting around. Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.